with that has warrior style gameplay, but featuring Fire Emblem heroes. And uh, it's a brand new story in a brand new kingdom. And we're actually going to be uh, first playing the stage that we're playing on the show floor, but we have a few new additions we're showing exclusively here on Nintendo Trias Live. And one of those is this spunky blonde here, Liana. Um, <laughs> She's she, a new hero, right? She's a brand new character added just to this game, and uh, she's the twin sister of Rowan, who uh, you can play as on the show floor. Hi, Xander. <laughs> Hello. We'll get to Xander in a bit. <laughs> we'll be spending a lot of time with Xander. <laughs> yes, but um, while we have uh, Hayashi-san here, uh, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about how the idea came about to create a warrior-style game based around Fire Emblem. I don't know. 我々ゼルダ無双も開発してたんですけどもゼルダ無双のハイラルウォリアーズレジェンズの時にあの 3DS で下画面でプレイアブルキャラクターをこうリアルタイムに切り替えるっていう遊びを入れたんですねでこれを入れた時にやっぱりファイアエンブレムの伝統的な3スクミの遊びとこのキャラクターを切り替える無双っていうのは多分すごく相性のいい面白いゲームになるんじゃないかなということであのゼルダ無双をハイラルウォリアーズのレジェンズ開発中にあのぜひ次このファイアエンブレム無双を作りましょうっていうお話をさせていただいて今回こうやって実現したというのがあります。Um, so as you may know,、uh, we worked on the game Hyrule Warriors and in Hyrule Warriors Legends we had a game system where on the touch screen you could switch characters and we thought that this would be a really good combination with、um, some of the strategic elements from Fire Emblem. Um, for example, like the weapons triangle.、Um, so, we heard about this project during the time that de we were developing Hyrule Warriors Legends, and we thought it would be a great idea to, to work on a Fire Emblem、uh, themed Warriors game. s Hey, thank you. And as we just saw,、uh, Prince Marth showed up. Hey there. Fans may recognize him from the very first Fire Emblem game or from Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon on the Nintendo, on the Nintendo, DS, Nintendo、right? DS. And he, also, he shows up all around. He's, he's been, yeah, he's a busy man. He is. <laughs> But、um, we're not going to give away anything about story here, but you will see a bunch of different Fire Emblem heroes and villains showing up, and、uh, you may just have to battle some of them. It'll all make sense when you're playing. It'll make sense when you play. Don't fret. <laughs> but、uh, as you just saw, there was a stun gauge over one of those enemies, and Matthew I was actually able to whittle it all the way down, which allowed him to unleash a really epic critical hit on them,、hmm. which did a great amount of damage. I love all of the nods to the Fire Emblem franchise that we're seeing in here, including the critical hit that you just saw with like, the facial animation going across、mm -hmm. the screen. Absolutely. And、uh, speaking of, we've、need? got these little sprites on a grid based map. That's a little bit familiar to Fire、mm. Emblem fans. And it also brings me to something else that we're showing exclusively here on Nintendo Trios Live, which is the ability to give commands.、Uh, now, this is extremely useful, but you can actually select any of the units that you're in control of and send them anywhere you want. You can deploy them to an enemy base, you can send them to fight a different Enemy,、uh, you can do whatever you want to help you maintain control of the map, and this is really key in helping you win because, it can, as you said, it can get quite chaotic.、Mm -hmm. And as you saw, Matthew just switched to Krom, which is always a good decision. <laughs> But、um, with the touch of a button, you can switch between the characters you're in control of. So if you place them at different points on the map, then you can just switch between them, and then you're suddenly halfway across the map. It's very useful. Krom versus Marth seems so weird. They're、yeah. basically using different iterations of the same sword, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Legendary sword facing off against itself. <laughs> and I love these special attacks here. They're really dynamic and they really、uh, bring to life the characters that we know and love from the Fire Emblem franchise. And as Matthew is kind of mowing down these enemies here and trying to、uh, defeat all of the enemy captains on the map,、uh, Hayashi san,、mm -hmm. perhaps you could tell us a little bit about the battle system in Fire Emblem Warriors and how it differs from other Warriors games. はい、あの今回、ファイアーエンブレム無双はですねあの無双の気持ちいいあの意気投成の爽快感というのはもちろんなんですけどもそのファイアーエンブレムの持つシミュレーション要素というのをこの無双に落とし込んでいて今、マップにあるように3すくみによってこのあの得意、不得意が一目瞭然出ますしそれ以外にも今、キャラクターをダブルということで2人をくっつけたりというような要素もあの覚醒の要素からインスパイアを受けて作っているものです。そういうい意味で戦略性のあるあのファイアあの無双ゲームとしてこのファイアエンブレム無双は形にしてます。はい。Um, so this game has a lot of the game elements that you'd be familiar from other Warriors games, like you know really over the top action and kind of the thrill of taking on hordes of enemies.、Um, but it, it combines that with the RPG simulation elements from Fire Emblem games.、Uh, for example, the weapons triangle and also 
being able to pair up with um, characters is something that was inspired by Awakening. Um, so we have really the strategic elements of the Fire Emblem combined with the, the thrill of playing a Warriors game. Absolutely, and there are just all kinds of little touches that I think Fire Emblem fans will especially really appreciate. You mentioned the weapons triangle, and uh, anyone who's played a Fire Emblem game knows the weapons triangle quite intimately, and it's in full effect in this game. And uh, things like pairing up. If you pair up uh, two of your units, then you can do things like dual attacks or dual guards, and you can even have them uh, jump in and help each other during their special attacks, which isn't only helpful, it looks really cool. <laughs> the animations for this game are part of what I love so much about it. Watching all the characters pulling off their critical attacks, like right now with Corrin. Corrin's going nuts that here. That is insane. <laughs> and it's not done yet. No, she's just getting started. Yes. <laughs> she did give it her all. Thank you, Corrin. <laughs> oh, no, you made her mad. This one's really cool. We both are momentarily struck numb by the <laughs> I know. beauty of that attack. And really, um, the characters is one of the biggest parts that fans love about the Fire Emblem series. And not only do we get to see a great variety of them and a brand new kingdom and a brand new story, but we get to play in a different type of gameplay than we usually do for a Fire Emblem Heroes. So that's really neat. And also just seeing them rendered in beautiful HD in these brand new scenarios is just really something else. And having all of these characters brought together in one game provides us with some unique opportunities as well. You get to see characters who'd never interact in any other game, like fighting side by side or against one another. Cross paths, yeah. Um, when you might nor not normally have seen Krom go uh, falchion to falchion with Marth, here we are. <laughs> um, speaking of, Hayashi-san, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about how you achieved the task of making the more action-oriented Warriors gameplay uh, capture the feel of the Fire Emblem series, which is more strategy-oriented. あの、キャラクターをどっちに向かわせるっていうのはもちろん戦略的に遊びたい方はそこそんでいただいてもいいですし、まあ、アクションゲームとして、あの、そこら辺あんまりこう、テンポよく遊びたいっていう方はそこに
they were a lot of axe users, but now we're up against some swordsmen. Mm -hmm. Hoping to get some uh, some like weapons triangle action going on, but he slaughtered them rather quickly. <laughs> Yeah, you really do need to pay attention to what weapon you have equipped and what weapon your enemies have equipped. And in the full game, of course, you'll be able to choose which weapons and items you equip your characters with. So. <laughs> oh, Ryoma. There's and Ryoma together. beating up oh. on innocent civilians like he does. They just showed up to get a paycheck. And <laughs> That's true. They have no stake here. <laughs> These poor guys. Um, you might have seen there when two characters pair up and they attack, there'll be a heart icon that shows over them, and that basically means that the bond between them has gotten closer. So you have that kind of element where characters will build this closeness between them as you as you play through the game. Yes, that's true, and uh, we're not going to give anyway about it, but as Hayashi-san just said, there is a support system of some sort. So uh, again, another thing that's very familiar to Fire Emblem fans that has been brought to life in this Warriors gameplay. Charging on deeper into battle now. Who's 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 coming up here? Yeah. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh no! <laughs> it's your buddy. <laughs> okay, we all know who to cheer for here, and it's not Matthew. I'm sorry, Matthew. Oh. <laughs> Hitting an innocent horse. How could you? <laughs> like a little bit of support for my treehouse member, though. It's okay. A little on, we'll get some revenge. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> But see, I mean, this is really cool. We have Corin, we have uh, Ryoma, and we have Xander all just dueling it out here in this action gameplay. That's just a scenario we never would have gotten to experience otherwise. Corin must feel so conflicted right now. <laughs> yeah, Corin always feels conflicted. That's true. Poor Corin. <laughs> Nicely done. Good work, Matthew. Thank you very much. Made short work of Xander. Well, no, no, no. Xander chose to retreat, you know for uh, the good of his people. Yeah, Just don't worry about it. He had a conflicting appointment. <laughs> he did. I'll show up later. He had places to be. <laughs> Showboat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ryoma's a good character and stuff. You sound, you sound <laughs> very sincere. sincere. In case you haven't noticed, I, I might be Team Noor. Just a little bit. Just a touch. Maybe a little. It's not revealing at all. Nope. No. So um, thank you for making quick work of those enemy captains, Matthew. And now we're actually going to jump into a new mode that we're showing exclusively here on Nintendo Trios Live. And this is called Coliseum Mode. So as Matthew boots it, uh, boots it up, uh, Hayashi-san, could you tell us a little bit about uh, what the inspiration was for Coliseum Mode and what it adds to the experience? あの、um, so as you know, arenas are really kind of a traditional game element from past Fire Emblem games, so we thought that we want to include that in one way or another. Um, so what we did was include it as a mode that's separate from the main story mode, and it's kind of uh, extra game content that you can play in there. And um, what you'll do is you'll go through and fight um, lots of heroes one, one on one yeah, sort of until you get to the end. Yeah. Thank you. And as you can see, uh, we jumped right into Coliseum mode. And finally, <laughs> we're playing as Prince Xander, and he's actually storming Hoshido Castle. This is his prior appointment. He had yes. a separate engagement. <laughs> this is where he ran off to. <laughs> so um, as Hayashi-san mentioned, uh, what separates this mode from regular Warriors gameplay is that while you still have waves of enemies to take out, it's much more one versus one focused. So first, uh, Matthew's going to take down these uh, captains here, but then after that, he's actually going to go one-on-one -on -one with a series of six Fire Emblem heroes, and he's going to have to take them down to win. But he's Xander, so he totally will. <laughs> I love watching Xander on his horse charging through hordes of uh, soldiers. Yeah, we need to take a moment to appreciate the horse here. The horse might be the hero of the whole game. He's fantastic. He flies, he jumps around, he gets right in the thick of it. This horse is really a champion for everyone. Are you saying Xander's overrated? I no, I would okay. never say that. I'm just saying that the horse is right up to his level. Equals. Yes. Partners. 
just below, just below him. <laughs> 今回 E3 ではこの辺の,あの英雄たちを紹介してますけどもっともっと実はプレイアブルキャラクターいっぱいいますんであのもっともっとあのお気に入りの男性があの登場すると思います。<笑> okay. um, so, as you can see, we've, we've seen tons of great Fire Emblem characters in this、um, version of the game, but、um, there will be lots and lots of other characters that we be, will be revealing. So, I'm sure there will be some other Um, handsome guys in there that you might be interested in, Audrey, as well.、Yeah. <laughs> Mwahaha. <laughs> Possibly. Mean, <laughs> More husbands for Audrey.、Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Just what I need. <laughs> まあ、しかも今回、皆さんやっぱフルボイスっていうことを非常に今回あの大事に作ってましてあのまあ見ていただくとおりもうとにかくいろんなプレイヤーがずっといろいろおしゃべりするようなそんなまあ賑やかなゲームになってます。And as you can see from the gameplay here,、uh, it's fully voiced, so you'll, have, you'll be able to play through the battles while enjoying hearing all your favorite characters speak.、Um, and that really makes it、uh, Really feel good experience while you're playing the game. And,、yeah. and that's a really good point.、Uh, hearing all of these lines voiced by our favorite Fire Emblem heroes is just really an incredible thing for fans. So、uh, maybe you could tell us just a little bit more about the decision to make all of the lines fully voiced. まあ、あのファイアーエンベレムでそのあんまりこう全部ボイスしゃべるって、まあ、エコーズではありましたけど今までなくて今回まあこの、まあ、皆さんがムービーで見るようなリアルなあのグラフィックの,あのファイアーエンベレムのヒーローたちを実際にプレイできるようにっていうことで今回やったので、まあ、ボイスも自然とやっぱこのモデルだったらやっぱみんなちゃんとしゃべってほしいよねということで今回フルボイス化をあの最初から決めて作ってました。Um, so, well, it's not like every single element of the game is, is voiced, like it might be in Echoes, but、um, this is、uh, definitely a game that takes、uh, you know, the characters that you've seen in, in movies from past Fire Emblem games, but then makes them playable within the game. So, that's really kind of a special thing that, that we're doing here with the game. So, we thought that it would, it would really make sense. The only way to kind of to To bring just that, ju justice to that would be to、uh, add voice to, them, to their actions during the game.、Yeah. Absolutely, it really does add a lot. And、it's、as we saw, Xander made quick work of Marth there. <laughs> That's true, <laughs> plowed right through him.、Yes. And the voice isn't just like flavor, it also provides you with a lot of in game instruction and direction about where your weak areas are on the map and where soldiers need, or where your、uh, characters need to be deployed. So, It works across the board、uh, to bring people into the Fire Emblem experience. It really does. And now <laughs> something terrible and wonderful is happening. Krom <laughs> has showed up, and it's husband versus husband. <laughs> I don't know who to cheer for. <laughs> it's okay. Let, let the battle decide. Yes. <laughs> Whoever is more worthy of your affections wins. Oh, God. <laughs> Matthew, you fiend. What are you doing? <laughs> didn't set this up. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is all you're doing. <laughs> All right, fight wisely. Yeah. Yeah, there's no winning for you. There's no winning for me, actually. You could pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give him some space, Matthew. God's sake. Oh, gosh. Oh, poor Krom. Krom stands alone as his soldiers are run down. <laughs> He's taking the patient approach, luring him out. <laughs> And there it is. It's hard to watch. Maybe they're sparring and they're going to be best friends. Afterwards. And star in a buddy comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Together they fight crime. Yes, it could happen. You know, that's going to hurt tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, and there's Xander's special attack. This won't do him in, but it's going to sting. Yeah. It's not as special when it's against Krom. <laughs> And now we have Rowan showing up, and、uh, this is the twin brother of Liana, who we saw earlier on in the segment.、Right. There it is. That means that Krom is no longer fighting alone. The Xander's pretty powerful, though, so、yeah. we'll see if even the two of them can manage. We'll see what Matt's strategy is here, too. Yeah. Oh, it's just to start murdering them. His strategy yeah, is to murder. That's a sound <laughs> strategy, actually. There it is. And I also want to point out that、uh, in Coliseum mode, you can actually play as different Fire Emblem characters and go to different stages. But I think I'm pretty set on storming Hoshido Castle as Xander. That works for me. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just seeing a, a little slice of the content, but、uh, it goes much deeper than a this. A slice? 
a, a couple of slices. Swords? I'm sorry. I'm, oh, good Lord. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. My brain thinks up puns before I realize what they're <laughs> what it's doing. <laughs> oh, don't put baby in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the horse knows there better. The horse is trying to get away from Crom. Sandra, no. <laughs> oh, look at that flip. That horse is amazing. <laughs> See if we can get a couple of pirouette kicks in. Oh, a little slide. Yeah, it's got both of them. Yeah. Yeah, this is not going to go well. For he actually got their stun gauges down and then did his special attack, which was a really sound strategy. That you wish he wasn't using. I wish he wasn't <laughs> doing it. <laughs> okay, so he doesn't have much left to him. And that, yeah, that took care of him. Yeah. He, he, did he level up on Krom? No, no, that was, okay. I think that was Rowan yeah, who leveled Rowan. up. Because that would have been rude. Yeah. <laughs> Krom is still here. But Krom will die a dignified death. Krom's tired. Krom, Krom's going to go nap now. Don't worry about him. And there it is. I mean, <laughs> the decision is there's made. The, there's the, no. You have to live with it. I don't have to live with anything. <laughs> so we're just waiting for the gates to crack open now? Yep, and then we're going to have more Fire Emblem heroes to rip our hearts out. I mean, to battle. <laughs> but um, really, that's one of the joys of this game, is that we see all of these characters that we love from previous Fire Emblem games, and we get to see them interact in new, wonderfully painful ways. Now we've got Corrin here defending Hoshido Castle. Yeah, Corrin showed up. Uh, for anybody who played Fire Emblem Fates, uh, Corrin is Xander's... Let's go with sister. Let's, yeah. Yeah, let's say sister. <laughs> Just to summarize. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they're really uh, pretty upbeat, considering they're fighting to the death. <laughs> fighting to the nap. Fighting. Yeah, fighting to the nap. Yeah. And I love how even as Xander is basically trying to wreck house on Corrin, uh, he's still giving pointers and mm -hmm. trying to be the tutor here. Very, very big brotherly. Absolutely. I noticed that uh, Xander is shielding or blocking from time to time. The horse is just shaking it all <laughs> off. The horse doesn't care. I'm telling you, this horse is a beast. This horse is going to save everyone. You've already got Corrin down to ha less than half. Yeah. Sorry just making short that. work of her. That's what you get for choosing Hoshido. <laughs> but she's got a little support. And now we have Liana showing up. Uh, don't tell her what happened to Rowan. She might not be happy about it. <laughs> I love these character introduction scenes as well. Yeah, all of the character introductions, their animations, their special attacks, are just so much effort and detail was put into them. Uh, oh, <laughs> she actually, they are, wow. Oh wait, okay. I thought they were pushing Xander back for a bit, but he's rallied. It's really rough to be a red shirt here in Hoshido yeah. Castle. <laughs> They're complaining to wardrobe right now. Yeah, I told you I wanted the blue shirt. <laughs> oh, look at this beautiful leaf. Don't you love nature, Rich? Ryoma oh, hates leaves. Ryoma, why would you do that? <laughs> That's just awful. He just hates raking. <laughs> he really does. So now the crown prince of Hoshido, who hates leaves in nature, <laughs> has just showed up. And Xander's going to make him cry. Go make him cry, Matthew. All right, I'll try my hardest. <laughs> I'm not Matthew's boss, but I'm acting like it. Go <laughs> kill things. Kill in my name. Yes. <laughs> just happens to coincide with what I'm doing already. So Good. Right, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. M make sure he feels it. Don't. No quick death. Oh, no good. honor for him. I'm sure. <laughs> and just level up. Yeah. Th this game makes me feel like a bad person, but in the best of ways. <laughs> so, power up. Now we have the legendary Blade Siegfried. So many legends. So many legendary so many blades. blades. Yes. <laughs> oh, sorry, Liana. That's going to hurt. It's going to hurt worse in a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so we only have nice. a few minutes, and we must make Ryoma suffer. So make him suffer, please. Yeah, the question is, can we cause enough suffering to Ryoma? By we, I mean Matt. Yes. Uh, before we have to move on. I think it's a team effort. I feel like we're channeling our positive vibes his way. We're all doing it. Yes. We're all winning today. <laughs> all 
I'm ready. I'm prepared. <laughs> I love how go. the enemies drop money, too. Like, they don't need that anymore. <laughs> Take that off your hands. That'll do it. Yes. Nice. Excellent work. Perfectly timed. We, we didn't get to see him fall, but uh, I'm sure it was glorious. Uh, there's nothing more shameful than an off-screen death. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> And scene. Oh, I've got, yeah, the hero of everything. <laughs> <laughs> husband victorious. Yay. <laughs> Score one for husband off. <laughs> all right, now that's all of the gameplay that we have to show off today, but we have a little something special that I can't quite reach. All right, all right. Maybe give you a hand here. Them. Just cover it up. So, uh, <laughs> secrets. Reveal these. secrets are happening. <laughs> all right, behind this hand here, we have a couple of secrets happening. <laughs> and that is two new Fire Emblem Amiibo, which are right here. <laughs> we have Krom, who I'm just going to hold a little, and Tiki. Now, uh, these are brand new Fire Emblem Amiibo. And just like all Fire Emblem Amiibo, they will actually be compatible uh, with Fire Emblem Warriors. We're not going to talk about what they can do, but all you need to know is that look how cool they are and they're Love compatible. The 